Hi, my name is Tom Hadding and I'm the author and the creator of a new YouTube channel dedicated to mixed martial arts and boxing. Uh, today I'm looking at the up and coming matchup between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. This is Mike Tyson on the left. Mike Tyson is one of the world's great boxers. Uh, anyone who lived uh, in the 20th century would um, be aware of the greatness of uh, Mike Tyson. He's up against um, a YouTuber, an interesting guy. Jake Paul is a very interesting guy. Uh, he has this really adventurous swashbuckling approach to life and credit to him. He's made a lot of cash, very successful YouTuber, and uh, he's added some real interest to the world of boxing. This is a young, fearsome Mike Tyson. Um, uh, Jake Paul would not have been in the ring with this earlier version of Mike Tyson, that's for sure. Let's look at Mike. Great picture of Mike. A legendary heavyweight boxer known for his exceptional power, aggressive fighting style. What were his strengths? He had incredible punching power. He had incredible hand speed and reflexes. He was an intimidating presence. It's often said that he beat many people, many of his opponents before they got into the ring. I think that's true. He was really intimidating. What about his weaknesses? Well, he had real, um, he had a lack of discipline inside the ring and out of it. And um, stamina was an issue. Whilst his early fights were characterized by explosive power, um, as his career uh, progressed, it became a clear that he didn't have the stamina of his earlier years. Technical flaws. Well, he lacked refined boxing techniques and defensive skills because his striking was so aggressively overwhelming that he didn't ever need to develop these other techniques and they were always significantly lacking, particularly in his later fights. Now let's look at um, a little bit about his career. Okay, very successful. Won his world title, 86, against Burbeck, defended against Smith, defended against Pinkland Thomas, good boxers, good boxers. Defended against Tony Tucker, great boxer. Tyrrell Briggs, very good boxer. Larry Holmes, the ex-world champion. He wouldn't have beaten a younger Larry Holmes but he had no difficulties with the aging Larry Holmes. Tony Tubbs, he beat him. Tony Tubbs, a very good boxer. Michael Spinks, I think an ordinary boxer. Then he uh, beat um, Frank Bino, uh, retained his WBA, WBC, IBF ring heavyweight titles. Then he beat a very good boxer, Carl Williams, before losing to Buster Douglas. The fact is, of course, that um, Mike Tyson had defeated himself with his lifestyle and activities outside of the ring. He beat himself more than Buster Douglas beat him. Let's look at his post-Buster Douglas um, loss career. He had some wins against Stewart, Donovan Ruddock, McNeely, Buster Mathis. Buster Mathis was mooted as a very great prospect in his early years. He then beat one of his old um, victims, Frank Bruno, to reclaim the WBC title but it's seldom to win the WBA title. And then he had two monumental con uh, contests against Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield was one of the truly great boxers um, of the last 50 years. He was a, a world champion, light heavyweight, and then a world champion hev heavyweight. Mike Tyson rightfully says that he was his nemesis. He called him the complete fighter. Then after his two losses to Holyfield, he beat both up. Beat Francis, beat Savareza, beat Nielsen, then lost it in his attempt to, re to regain the WBC and other titles as a heavyweight champion against Lennox Lewis. A younger Mike Tyson would have had a very different outcome against Lewis, I believe. He then had a win before he had two very, very poor losses to journeyman Danny Williams and McBride. Uh, then he retired. Now this is uh, Jake Paul on the right. What do we know about Jake? Okay, well, he's um, an American professional boxer. He's also a YouTuber. Whether he's a YouTuber boxer or a boxer YouTuber, I'm not sure. He started his early career on Vine and he amassed 5.3 million followers before Vine was discontinued. He was also an actor. He appeared uh, in the Disney Channel production of Bizarre Vark. He played Dirk Mann. He launched his YouTube channel in May 2014 and he was listed by Forbes as one of the highest paid YouTube creators in 17, 18, 21 and 23. Today, 22 to 24, he's listed as one of the world's highest paid athletes. Now, what about his record? Well, um, 
he was able to engineer fights against uh, non-fighters or not very good fighters or average fighters. Um, ben Askren, of course, was an MMA fighter. He beat him. Tyron Woodley was an MMA world champion to beat him. Anderson Silva was an MMA champion to beat him. Uh, he lost to Tommy Fury, uh, an average English boxer. He beat another MMA fighter, Nate Diaz, before beating August at Borland and then beating another MMA fighter, and now a bare knuckle fighter called Mike Perry. So most of his victories have been against MMA fighters who aren't particularly good boxers. It's not a distinguished boxing record, but credit to a Jake Paul, he's made a lot of cash. So what can we say about him in terms of weaknesses and strengths? Social media star turned boxer. He does have significant punching power. He is a naturally athletic individual. But I think his real gift is he has this flamboyant style and trash talking ability, which really helps him to generate significant interest and hype around his fights. Weaknesses, his t boxing technique is relatively raw. He has very limited experience against high level professional boxers. That's why he opts for the MMA fighters who can't box. And his performance can be inconsistent. Sometimes he shows he has power and aggression. Other times he demonstrated he has great technical deficiencies. So it looks forward to this great fight.